Hi there guys, got a video regarding horse stats and speed and acceleration for you. Uh, I have some, lots of things to say actually, but I, I'm going to condense it all really quickly because I've tried talking about this already and it just took too long. So I'm basically just going to condense it down. Um, I'm going to put some videos in the description of this though to the uh, footage of me actually testing these things. That if anybody actually wants to look at the times or uh, have a closer look to, into any of it. Um, all right, so basically I had a few major questions to answer. Uh, I wanted to figure out what the gray bars mean in the, the stats, the speed and acceleration stats of the horse and what the black bars, bars mean. It's pretty obvious what the white bars mean. Uh, that's like the raw attribute of the horse before any modifications or anything. Um, so I tested a few things out. I basically uh, raced the same horse a number of times, a uh, seven minute long track, uh, fairly flat. So it's quite the long track and that eliminates a lot of variables uh, doing it that way so long. And uh, basically I'll show you my results. So here's my results. Um, I'm racing the uh, Turkleman each time just to eliminate any variable between horses. Uh, the first time is 716. That's the Turkoman with the saddle and stirrups that give no bonus to speed or acceleration. Um, then I put on a saddle stirrup combo that gives a combined total of plus two. We've got a 705 on that. And then a plus three. We have 703, a little faster again. And another big question I had was would going from three to four even make a difference because this plus four bonus is only achieved by using a kind of a glitch where you're using a saddle stirrup combination that's kind of not allowed by the game but there's a way to kind of jimmy the, jimmy it in there anyway and i managed to get again get faster noticeably um 659 using that combo uh then i had a question of is it possible to take the speed stat beyond 10 and get even faster and the way I kind of did that was I threw that same plus four combo on the Norfolk Roadster, and uh, which has a raw stat of seven, so four and seven is 11. That would be beyond 10. And uh, if that actually counts, if that uh, speed's not limited to 10, then the, the Roadster would not be any faster than the Turkoman with the same setup. And here we see that it was. Um, it's It got a 657. Now, these numbers are not like 100% perfectly indicative of, of the reality of the speed of the horse, but due to, the, again, the length of the race, they do they are pretty persuasive. And just to make sure, I repeated the run a number of times with both the Turkoman and the Roadster. And the Turkoman I, I got three different times, all roughly the same, 659, 659, and then 657. Um, now the Roadster got 657 to 659 and then 653. So obviously the average times between the two places the Roadster firmly a bit faster and faster to a degree that's consistent with the, the degree each, uh, each time is faster than the other. If you increase the bonus by plus one, um, the only other thing that I would mention is that these these differences in times are, although they're there, they're extremely small, which perfectly aligns with the conclusions other people have come to, which is that these these differences in, in speeds and acceleration between horses is really not even noticeable, and so you shouldn't even bother thinking about it and pick choose horses based on other considerations such as its health and stamina and how it looks etc and yeah that that my findings are all perfectly in alignment with that um but i think i was able to confirm some things that other people weren't able to which is that uh one the plus four saddle is actually it actually does make the horse faster than uh, just the plus three um, what I also figured out is that the gray bars on the stats do not actually indicate the only room the horse has to grow in terms of becoming faster and, and have better acceleration. 
Um, I don't even know what those gray bars are. It, I, I actually am leaning towards the idea that those gray bars don't even mean anything anymore, e even if they ever did at any point. Um, they, they don't seem to now, and of course the, that means the black bars don't mean anything either. The black bars, I assume they were supposed to mean that's the hard limit that the that uh, was imposed upon the horse in terms of how fast and its top speed and acceleration could be. It doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, the only thing that seems to matter is the uh, the bonus plus the raw stat, the, the horse, and there does not seem to be any upper limit of what that could be. And I mean, it's if you can figure out, theoretically, if you can figure out a way to get a plus 100 onto the speed of the horse, then they would correspondingly get that much faster. But obviously, the the, the biggest bonus that we know of is plus four, um, and that's using a glitch. Otherwise, it's plus.